My last metagame minute, I talked about how I'm turning into Jesus, but I really think I'm starting to turn into Gandalf as well, which kind of more down with even, you know? Three, two, one, bro. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick Murphy. I'm one half of the Brothers Murph, and this is Meta Game Minute. Meta Game Minute is a weekly segment where Mike or I talk about anything we want to talk about in the gaming world today. And today, I want to talk about how board games are incredibly, stupidly cheap. I think they're immensely affordable, and the reason why I think that is is through uh, comparing it to other things that cost money. Of course, board games cost money. A hundred dollar games is still $100. You have to have that $100, be able to spend that $100 on that game and not like be like, I'm not paying my rent this month because I need this new game. And that's not what I'm talking about. Sure, there are things that are objectively cheaper than board games. Uh, a lot of stuff's cheaper than board games. But I personally think that board games are incredibly cheap and an incredibly good value for what you're getting out of them. Because you're not just buying a board game and then having it sit here on a shelf and not do anything. You're buying a board game and then playing it. You're buying a board game and then creating memories with people around the table. You're buying a board game and bringing people into the hobby. There's so much other stuff that goes along with it that adds to that value. And so spending 30, 40, 50 bucks, even 100 bucks on that game, to me is pretty worth it. It's pretty worth it just for the memories and just for what you're getting out of the actual gameplay in terms of strategically and like working on your brain and having to solve puzzles and all that other fun stuff that goes along with board games. I think they're totally worth it for that. But even then, that's not what I'm really talking about in this video. What I'm talking about is that comparatively, I think board games are incredibly affordable. People constantly talk about how expensive board games is, and yeah, upfront costs, they are pretty expensive. A normal average board game, I would say is about 50 bucks. They of course can be more or can be less, but I think that's incredibly affordable because of the sheer amount of hours of entertainment you get out of that game. 50 bucks is not nothing, but considering that every game, let's say is an average of an hour and a half, or you know, let's just make it easy, let's just say an hour, which I think is low, but let's just say an hour to keep math easy. If you played that game 10 times, that means you got 10 hours of entertainment for that 50 bucks. That is $5 an hour. Think of what else is that cheap. $5 an hour for entertainment. If you take your husband out to a nice dinner and then a movie, you are easily spending at least 50 bucks and that's gonna last one evening, let alone a game that you can play again and again and again. And playing a game 10 times is pretty low for most people. Most people don't have as many games as we do. And most people tend to play games a lot. If you played that game 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 100 times, which some people play games that much, the sheer amount of value you are getting for the $50 you spent on that game is astronomical. And that is assuming that each game average is an hour, which again, I think is low. But what if it's a two hour game? Then those 10 plays are 20 hours for 50 bucks. That is incredibly cheap in my opinion. Many people watching us have families. They have husbands, they have wives, they have kids. Try taking your wife and kids out to movies. That's gonna be a $50 affair easy if you get off lucky and that's just one evening, a couple hours watching a movie and it's totally worth it to do that. Do the bonding, watch movies together. It's wonderful, it's beautiful. And board games are around the same price, sometimes more, but a lot of times less. If you get like a $20 game like Sushi Go Party and you play the crap out of it with your friends and your family and you're just if shown it to everyone, that is an incredible value for $20. And even the big games, games that are like $100, like Feast for Odin, Zombicide, something with tons of plastic, all this stuff, I'm gonna go ahead and exclude Kickstarter because then you get all these add-ons and stuff and that kind of, that just gets all over the place anyway. But let's just say something out of the box is $100, something like Feast for Odin. But even that to me is incredibly affordable considering how many hours you can get out of that. Even if you just play it like 10 times, for the price. If you play it 10 times at an hour each, that is $10 an hour, which is not the cheapest thing in the world, but again, compared to a lot of other things, that's actually pretty darn affordable. There are things that are cheaper, of course, go hiking, get out of the nature. That is literally free. There are a bunch of things that are cheaper than board games, but nonetheless, I think people complain a lot about board games and how expensive they are 
because they're only thinking of the upfront cost. And of course, that's totally fair. I'm super poor. I have to think, man, can I really afford this? But when you take that out of it, and you really think of the value you're getting for your dollar, the value to dollar ratio, board games are incredibly affordable, incredible. And that's just the amount of hours you're getting out of the play, not including the memories, not including keeping your brain sharp because you're heavy thinking and critical thinking, not including getting to sit down with people across the table, which is something we don't do anymore because everyone's on their phones all the time. All of those things put together make board games, in my opinion, incredibly cheap and a really, really, really astonishingly good value. So that's what I say when I think that board games are cheap. For the record, I also think that video games are incredibly cheap, considering you can play a game like Skyrim for like 100 plus hours, and that game's like 60 bucks. So I actually think video games are also very, very cheap. Play board games, play video games. But what do you think? Do you think board games are cheap? Are you like, no, Nick, you're crazy. Board games are crazy expensive. I'm leaving the hobby tomorrow. Some of that extreme is probably not the case, but nonetheless, let me know if you disagree down in the comments below. And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, give us a subscribe if you haven't already, and share the video if you feel like making us happy. Until next time, my name is Nick Murphy of the Brothers Murph, and whether or not you think board games are super cheap or super expensive, remember, the more meta, the more better. Hello, I want to let you know that we have a Patreon and that you should check it out. There will be a button some, somewhere around here probably that you can click to help out the Brothers Murph. Click the Patreon. Do it. I also got to let you know that we're sponsored by Restoration Games and by Game Toppers. Go to GameToppersLLC.com to upgrade your game and experience. Look at that label. It's beautiful. Go do it. Do it right now. I hate you. I'm sorry. I love you. Bye.